The Rockies trying to extend their season best winning streak to five games, taking on the Mets at City Field. Ian Desmond ready to go. Kyle Freeland on the hill for the Rocks in a jam in the first with two on, facing as Drupal Cabrera. Freeland's pitch is hit into left field for a base hit. That will score one. Throw to third is not in time. First and third, one nothing New York. And that ends the string of 45 innings in which the Mets have either been even or trailed. 2 nothing. Rockies are trailing in the top of the second. Here's the next hitter, Ian Desmond. Pitch to Desmond, and that one's hit well to left field. Going back, it's a left fielder, Nimmo, looking up. This one is long gone. Hit the second deck out in left field, and the Rockies get one back just like that. Bottom of the fourth inning, 2-2 game here in New York. Flores at second, Lobatone lined a single to right his first time. Got him. Got him. Great pitch. Great pitch. And he needed that strikeout. So now they're two gone. 0-2. Swung on and missed. Good job by Freeland. Wilbur Flores left at second. Here's the 0-1 on Cabrera. And this ball's lifted to deep left. Parra hoping for a play. Leaps and makes the catch. Takes away extra bases from Esdrubal Cabrera. Got him. What a job by Kyle Freeland. Just a marvelous afternoon of pitching. Two outs for Ian Desmond. This ball is lifted to right center field and deep. Did Desmond clip it? You bet. 3-2 Colorado. The much maligned Rockies first baseman with a two-homer day. And most importantly, the Rockies out in front in the eighth, three to two. Two on, two out, bottom of the ninth. And we'll get another pinch hitter. It'll be Tomas Nito, the catcher. The 0-2 pitch, strike three, call, and a fastball. And get out the brooms. The Rockies sweep the Mets in New York. The Rockies extend their season best winning streak to five games as they hang on to beat the Mets 3-2. Kyle Freeland the victory, allowing two runs in seven frames, striking out eight. Ian Desmond his fourth career multi-homer game. Luana Cespedes had to leave the game after scoring a run in the first inning with right hip tightness. And prior to the game, the Mets placed Jacob DeGrom on the 10-day DL retroactive to May 3rd with a hyperextended right elbow.